Hello guys, thank you for watching my videos and joining my channel. If you have not joined my channel, please hit subscribe button below and like this video. All right, today I'll be windy. I'm in California. It's about 60 Fahrenheit degree, but it's about 20 miles an hour wind. So it's a little bit windy, maybe a little bit noisy, but I still decided to make this video. Uh, what a video I'm gonna do today, it's about compare the three bikes. All right, so I will start with a new Phantom C1. This is a new e-bike or e-scooter I got, and I'll talk to you a little bit about this. So it comes with 12 inches wheels, aluminum frame, aluminum pole for seat, aluminum pole for handlebar. So basically everything aluminum, so it will not rust. That's a big benefit of this bike, and that's a big plus. Also, it comes with a key start. So in order to start this bicycle or scooter, whatever you call it, you have to turn the key. It comes with a light, which move together with your wheel, which is uh, very good. Also comes with a basket. Okay, so that's about it. And then this bike, it's a uh, just some bolt. It's a little bit older model. It's been on the market for a few years already. And it's the smallest one out of all the three the price was 300 or sometimes they go on sale much cheaper sometimes it's all metal made everything can rust and it's uh, depend where you live so everything metal the weight between this one and the uh, phantom c the same weight 34 pounds and then uh, it comes with the uh, same size as uh, phantom 12 inches uh, it's easy start button over here, so it will easy to start. Also come with a light, but the light uh, are not movable. Same thing, it comes with a brake light, and it's also just um, not movable, but it's still good by connected to Bluetooth. So this bike can go up to 90 miles per hour. It all depends on the weight. Uh, I weigh over 200 pounds, so with me it's going about 80 miles on average okay so this is uh, just some bolt pro which is also about one year old i have uh, this bike for about six months a bit more maybe and this bike comes with pedal also all metal the wheels it's a uh, 14 inch which is bigger than um, these two bikes the price is uh, 300 dollars i paid in Costco. sometimes you might find in amazon i'll put link below but the amazon or ebay they have a different price of course um it's a bit more expensive and they pedal they sometimes get sold out on Costco website but if you check back on casca.com you might find it everything metal include pole handlebar everything metal can rust easily actually this one came already a little bit rusty rusty part of this so it's a get a little bit rusty but it already came like this there's some rust inside and um, it's been since the time when i unpacked it so it's no big deal they told me if it doesn't give you a problem just keep it i may just um, exchange it uh, just return to cask and buy a new one because you will not get better it just get worse with time so um, i want to talk to you about the power it has 360 watt power in this bike 14 inch wheels as I said before completely metal weight about 44 pounds much heavier like about 10 pounds more than these two bikes but this bike gave you better benefits that it has pedal so it's a big plus uh, this bike a little bit longer versus to the Jetson Bolt the most compact bike would be Jetson Bolt and this both of the bikes comes about um, same uh, speed since i upgrade the speed to 18 and a half miles to 90 miles depending on your weight the both of them going um, the benefit of this bike is the pedal biggest benefit and it's only 300 dollars so you cannot beat the price okay this one it starts easily with a just button press and it will start the speed this bike have most accurate uh, battery charge I noticed that battery on this bike can show me the full charge when I ride, but actually it's uh, 
have losing the power I have to test it for longer ride okay this bike li lasts about nine miles and up depend how you ride and how often you ride because the battery discharge with the time so it can go nine to like whatever miles they said in the description also if you have no power in this bike you can pedal it so it's a big big plus to this bike small bike but very useful you can attach also like bottle holders if you want to put basket you can buy on amazon you can put light which i recommend i have a light over here installed so i use it when i ride at night very seldom but it's very helpful because this bike also comes with a light which is kind of stay in one place when you move your wheel so you cannot really it does not really help you much it's okay to have it but it does not help and on the back you will have only like reflection light over here nothing else so these are uh, three bikes i want to talk to you and why would i use this bike versus to this bike or this bike so first of all i got these two bikes i use with my kids riding my boy or girl they both of them stand on this one but i have to ride them one by one they put the feet on the foot holder and then we ride the bike with this bike i can have them both of them standing and they're having a lot of fun they love Two it bikes you can buy about 300 dollars maybe more or less this one so the biggest benefit i notice with this bike it's a smallest bike so it's much easier to put in any trunk mostly with this bike it has it takes a little bit longer more space because it's a little bit longer because of the wheel and the frame and i have not taken this bike anyway yet because this bike is the longest one and uh, even you put the handlebar down it become longer and very hard to put in a car because the basket takes a lot of space and the basket to remove will take a lot of time so so far i didn't take anyone anywhere so here's my um, experience um, this bike is good to ride about six miles if you need to go to the store to work or just fun it's a safe to give you six miles with 200 pounds or more it's right uh, i test the ride with this bike about 200 65 pounds on it and it's right just fine the speed loss it's not uh, big it's maybe one mile speed loss when i have 265 pounds on this bike with this bike i have not test on the tucson on 265 pounds but i did test on myself over 200 pounds it's going to the hill just easily also you got pedal assist which is good but with this bike you have more fun if you just if you don't want to do any exercise you don't want to use pedal and i find it's much easier to use this bike when i chase my kids on while they do scooting so it's a good bicycle okay so this scooter it's a great scooter to ride with the kids what i have it for uh, maybe to go to the local store because it has a basket already but uh, this scooter also probably design is good for people who live by the beach by the ocean or in high humidity area because it will not rust as badly well it basically will not rust not supposed to rust at all as these two bicycles so this is the biggest benefit you're gonna get from this scooter it's all it's mostly aluminum and that's the best uh, benefits i think you get that's why it costs 400 dollars versus to this to 300. this bike have some battery problem in the past but i think they fix it so so far i have it no problems at all with this bike and i'm gonna test the phantom c class c1 to see if there are any problems because the uh, first one i got they have problem with the motor and um, i just got it i didn't have much ride but so far it's good all right so that's about it so this bike is great all of them great depend where you, how you need to use them for so basically very short phantom is good to go up to three miles one way or something with a jensen bolt is good to go up to three miles one way and then jensen bolt pro i would uh, be like advised to go up to five miles one way it can handle 10 miles easily 
because it has pedal in it. Uh, all depend on your height and weight again. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget hit subscribe button below. Uh, comment below what would you like to know more about this bike. I know we're running out of the season. So most likely most people will stop using because not everybody lives in California. Even in California we get rains, sometimes snow in the mountains. But we'll see. Uh, stay tuned. See you in the next video.